I'm Andy. I'm uh, one of the mission scientists from FIU for the first half of Mission 31. And this is dive was our, our last night dive. It was pretty amazing. All the work was done. We got to go out and play finally. Yeah, I'm, I'm Adam Zanone. I'm a mission scientist uh, for Mission 31 as well. And here you can see the, uh, the glasses that we're going to be wearing tonight to look at the fluorescence of the corals. Uh, these are light in motion um, lights, the night sea lights. And uh, we had the opportunity to go out and, like Andy said, just kind of play with them. Yeah, so these are UV lights, and, and they don't create a whole lot of light, but when you shine them on the corals, they excite these green fluorescent proteins in the coral, and they just make them glow this bright green color. So it's pretty spectacular to see. Um, they're actually also really useful for working, because when we're on reefs with low coral cover looking for recruits, we can actually use them at night, and the corals just glow like that, and it's, it's pretty neat. Now, it's, it's my understanding, actually, that this green is the result of... Um proteins within the corals and it kind of acts as a sunblock for them um, you know uh, is that is that correct yeah they're they're these green fluorescent proteins they actually absorb the UV light and then fluoresce it back at a different spectrum to prevent uh, damage to the coral tissue yeah. but it makes for some pretty incredible shots and images that's for sure Absolutely. so we uh, we had a lot of fun just walking around the reef with these lights just seeing what we could see and as we were doing so uh, we inadvertently found some other friends as well yeah, so the, the light and motion lights are nice because they don't create a whole lot of bright light. And, but when you turn on the big bright lights to see what's around, there's so much plankton on the reef. It just starts to move in around these, these lights. And it's like a, a whiteout snowstorm. You can't even see through it. So here I'm walking towards Kip through this just cloud of plankton. And I can't even see him through that between the, the lights and the plankton. It was a pretty amazing experience. Yeah, and what, you know, just some of the other things that made this night dive, you know, one of the best that, that I've ever done, and, and in fact, it might be the best dive of my life, you know, was just the myriad of creatures that we saw, you know, on this reef, like this Mithrax crab, and, uh, you know, he was, he was really cool to see, and while we were looking at him, we noticed uh, a turtle started getting curious around, around the edges of our lights, you know, uh, and uh, unfortunately, we, we, she went off, and, you know, we thought maybe that was the end of it, but, you know. Yeah, she was, she was really neat to see, kind of gliding in through the, the black water, and then she kind of turned away. We thought she was gone, went back to looking at this crab, but she kept coming back, actually. I think she was just really curious. She'd see the light and come back in and circle around us and probably spent a good five minutes just coming back in and circling around. At the very least, five minutes. And, you know, what was nice was that at first it appeared that maybe, you know, she was kind of... You know, you wonder if you're if you're disturbing the turtle or you're making her nervous or anything like that. But it was great because as yeah, she came in and would leave, she kept coming back. And so she wasn't really, you know, affected by our presence there. Or at the very least, you know, she wasn't worried by us. And, you know, that's something that is, is always good to know or at least, you know, good to feel while you're interacting with such amazing creatures underwater. You know, you're in their environment. So it's, uh, it's nice to know they're comfortable around you. Um, in, in, in these kind of situations. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Every time we thought she was going to leave, she would swim away and then turn back <laughs> in and just come right up to us and make these passes. So uh, one of the coolest, most unique experiences I've had with the sea turtle, for sure. Absolutely. And, and it, as if that wasn't enough, you know, and again, this dive just kept getting more and more incredible. We, we looked up, and we didn't really even move from the place where we saw the turtle, and there were these tarpon, these giant, you know, five to six foot long, really silvery fish, uh, and, and the barracuda, they were feeding in the, the mid-water column here, right outside of the habitat. And um, yeah, you can see here how bright and shiny they are. You know, they light up the habitat when they go underneath those lights. So they're pretty incredible to watch. I'd never seen predation like that before. I don't know, Andy, have, have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, it, it was really neat to watch. And like you said, we just kind of moved a few feet towards yeah. the bow, and there they are going on this little feeding frenzy. It just kind of, they didn't even seem to mind our presence. They'd swim right up by us, and then all of a sudden you'd, spot a fish and they just take off after it so it was it was pretty amazing to see that going on and just be kind of immersed in the nature right there yeah and we, we saw some other stuff too just in the exact same spot you know these little squid you know you'd think they'd be afraid of these giant predators around but they came in were eating the plankton you know in the water column and you could see them eating they, they can hover pretty well and then they, all of a sudden they dart after something and uh, we first noticed them there by uh, a cloud of smoke actually that went through the water so one of them had actually inked and then uh, we saw them come back through uh, into our into our vicinity. Just really, really cool. Yeah, I was really surprised to see them kind of right in the middle of all that feeding activity with the big fish. They didn't seem to mind at all. They didn't care that we were there. They were just kind of 
cruising on through, doing their thing, feeding. So that was pretty neat to see too. Yeah, and they hung around for quite a while as well. And, and actually we saw them uh, as we were cleaning up inside the habitat, they came around to the other side of the, the, the viewport and we were able to, to continue seeing them feeding in the plankton. And uh, luckily Kip was able to get some really awesome shots uh, of them out there. Um, you know, just because it's hard to describe something so incredible, really, without having, you know, some images to go with it. Yeah, it, it's pretty great. It's almost like just being in space, you feel like, when you're looking yeah. out there. Just all these little things kind of flickering around and the darkness. It was really neat. And that's another one of the things that's really cool about being out on these night dives is you see so many different animals. I mean, it's the exact same spot on the reef, but just that difference between day and night, all the deep water animals come up when the sun goes down to feed and forage and you'll just see an entirely different set of animals out there. Yeah. So having the the ability from Aquarius to be on umbilical and, and not have to worry about air and going back for, for air time and things like that, it just opens this whole new world uh, to, to view these behaviors at night that you just can't see otherwise. <laughs> Excited. I couldn't sleep.